All right, here we have Smart Soutane. Who do we have? Daniel Sweeney. Russell Collins. All right, how are you liking the wooden spoon? I love the wooden spoon. It's good too. Uh, my mum used to threaten me with a wooden spoon when I was naughty when I was little. And, uh, Am I bringing you back some bad memories? Uh... I don't no. want to scare you. you know. <laughs> it's alright, his mum threatened no. me with some wooden spoons sometimes as well. Not bad memories, good memories. There's a lot to be said for wooden spoons. Yeah, certainly in the mic industry. Absolutely. <laughs> alright, well tell us about your style of music. Our style of music can be kind of uh, inferred from the fact that we were originally two singer-songwriters who joined together because uh, I wanted to be in a band like the Beatles with more than one singer-songwriter um, who were kind of a, a joint force of good musicians as opposed to one frontman and just four minions as it were. And uh, so we basically write our own songs and um, our styles vary from influences like the Smiths and uh, I suppose we like good craftsmanship, craftsmanship in songs as opposed to gimmicks and, and cliches which you get a lot today in music. Yeah. And you've already played this afternoon, so I've how do you think the crowd took you today? It's a local crowd, isn't it? Yeah, it's no, local. I think they enjoyed it very much, so yeah, we've got quite big applauses after several no, years. It's it's really yeah, good. I mean, it, it's nice at festivals, I think it's fairly chilled out and um, it's always nice to see you know, people getting wasted and uh, enjoying the music, so that's that's uh, it's all good. Well, tell us about your tour at the moment. You're just getting yourself out there, playing a few gigs everywhere. Where are you heading? Well, we've already done Manchester and London. We're doing Bath, Bristol, uh, Cambridge, Liverpool, maybe some more. Oh, and Birmingham, obviously. Um, and yeah, we're just trying to get out there. And I think you get the tendency is on like a, a local band circuit, you, t- you tend to get locked into a cycle of uh, one couple of promoters who put gigs on, and it's, t- it's good to break out of that and get out. And if you feel like you've got to spread your wings and uh, fly and whatnot uh, you know it's, it's good to do that definitely yeah. yeah next weekend we're heading out to Leamington to uh, play at a peace festival which is something completely out of the ordinary for a us peace festival a peace festival. festival yeah Leamington peace festival uh, and I'm not sure how it came about in fact the lead singer is walking towards us right now he might be able to tell us more about Leamington peace Can festival Leamington peace festival um, well we're on to peace um, it, I'm sure oh, I don't think it's going to be sunny I think your music's ideal for a peaceful atmosphere. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we enjoyed today. Like, we can we can play where people are jumping around, but quite often people like to just sit down and chill out. Um, we're those kind of guys. We're quite pensive people. So, uh, we're saying that I'm sure a peace festival doesn't connotate kind of that people are going to be sit down and sat down and chilled out. But if they are, we'll, I'm sure we'll get on alright. Okay. They'll, they'll be alright. What's your most memorable gig? We did a gig in Upton Pond Seven, which is in Worcestershire, and we went down, and the majority of the audience were all underage. So we ended up spending part of the time actually being bouncers on the door, <laughs> trying to stop kids that were underage getting in without tickets, you see. So th- that was quite a memorable moment for me. You actually had to turn people away from your gig. Absolutely. We had to, we had to turn scallies outside yeah. away, and then I tried to rehabilitate them and tell them that wasn't, you know, they weren't living the right way and they should give up smoking and stop wearing Definitely. shell suits and stuff. But Danny, Danny did a great job of uh, holding me back from hurting one of the little boys because he was very cheeky to be on stage I, d- I don't mind people being a bit rowdy but I won't put up with cheekiness at all he said capos are for dicks so well if you know a lot of chords <laughs> you'd be alright without a capo <laughs> wouldn't you but <laughs> 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 okay what, which do you guys prefer blackjacks or fruit salads what are blackjacks fruit salads man fruit salads what any sweets bo- those oh, are, oh, are you joking those little blackjacks. sweets and those, they're oh, like surely rectangular you prefer foods. fruit salads mate I've got one in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like blackjacks, fruit salads. You know, the, the, I thought the, you know fruit salads for girls and blackjacks for boys, right? <laughs> so that's fruit salad. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. The fruity. Salad. Okay, so 2008 turned out some amazing tunes already. Yeah, what tune okay. is uh, what tune's racking around your brain? Which which is your your shower tune at the moment? <laughs> oh, the Ting Tings. Say what's my name? Crikey! <laughs> when they first came out, I was like, these look like a band that are really going to irritate me. And they did it so much, I ended up loving them. Yeah. So, I think that's a wicked tune. I, I'm a big fan of two bands this year, MGMT and uh, Devochka, who I think... Uh, Devochka, who did Devochka? Devochka are really good. Def- uh, they did a couple of songs on the soundtrack of Little Miss Sunshine, but they've got um, an album out this year and uh, a song called Along the Way is a really, really good song. It's worth checking out. It's, it's just completely above your average rubbish you get in the charts these days. It's a really good song. And, uh, yeah, you should check them out. Have yeah, I heard. Uh, have you ever heard the rise? Yeah. Yeah, I heard they're doing a version of My Love by Paul McCartney, which is pretty fantastic. I heard that on Radio Two the other day, and that's sort of taken my fancy pretty recently. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well, have you guys got a pre gig ritual at all? We did a lot of hugging today. I think I think it could become a pre a pre gig ritual. Yeah, yeah. We we've stopped the pre gig ritual of getting wasted because we it wasn't a very good ritual really. No. It wasn't putting us in good preparation. <laughs> Okay, what do you guys get up to when you're not geeing or you're not on tour? 
Well, I'm not, I'm not actually like together with these guys because I live quite a way away. Uh, so generally, spent, like all my extracurricular stuff, still music. Mm -hmm. uh, but still very enjoyable. I'm quite into musicals. Done some musical directing recently and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's about the extent of it. My extracurricular stuff is pretty much music as well. I work with students, uh, helping do like events and things like today. <laughs> so this age, eighteen and over. Best, best age. It's a great, great age. Uh, I work with first years, notably. Yeah. Uh, you show standing right behind you. It's not, um, it's not the best. Oh days. no, I, I've got a very good, uh, you know, moderate drinking policy, but I enforce myself. Ten points. He's, he's the best worker at the guild. Can we get that on record? <laughs> Mark is honestly the best person at the guild, and he's uh, very helpful to the RAs, which is the Residents Association. Good work. Eh? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Right then, finally, okay. Did any of you guys react badly to news of the death of Heath Ledger? Yeah, I did. Very much so. He was actually a childhood hero of mine. Ignore what those two say. I was very upset. <laughs> he about did. Me. Were you <laughs> upset? He actually I did. I, I was genuinely upset because, first start, he was a young fella, and secondly, he was he was a he was a good actor, and I'm a big fan of Bob Martin, and uh, it was a great film. Do you remember him in Home and Away? Do you remember? No. Yeah, he started off in Home and Away. He's an Australian oh, boy, so. A few more jokes. Yeah. I think my response was just to make as many jokes so, to be insensitive as possible. Oh, right, right, right. right. Go, go for it, go for no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how those on my course. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm a coming. kind, kind, warm individual. I don't say cynical, <laughs> bad jokes. Don't, don't do those. Well, thank you guys. Thank, thank you for your time speaking to us, and I wish you all the best in the future. Thank, no, you. thank you very much. Good night. Thank, thank you. you.